Are you working? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick. If you don't know me, I'm Patrick. Today I'm talking about my favorite lens for sports videography, the Tamron 70 to 180. This is actually a beat up version of this lens. It's cracked, it's got tape on it, and I love it. I brought it to the other side of the country with me, shot hundreds of sports games, taken thousands of photos, and it's near and dear to me, and it's still rolling, so. This video actually takes place in Boston at my girlfriend's apartment, who interestingly enough made the thumbnail for this video. So if you liked it, it's probably why you're here. Go check out her work. She's very talented. Matter of fact, somebody should, where, where is she? I, man, I wish she was here right now. I don't have a joke, Deb, I don't have a joke. This video starts with us on our way to the vintage market in the South End. Please enjoy the views of this lens and I could go for some tea. Mmm, delicious. Let's get into it. I need you for that one. Let's get into it. That was a little too teacher. I want to be more like a child, they question everything. Like, Mama, where is your wedding ring? The dust still said to lean. I did, I'm settled in. This is a lot of difficulties. I try to go in. I hope you niggas know it. Young boy, I ain't heroic. They hurt you free, they so bad. You poor for think you know it. My bugger, the heat is loaded. So I don't shoot too often. Reporting live from Kaufman. Okay, yeah, basically today I'm talking about the Tamron 70 to 280. This is my go-to lens for sports and kind of like long distance. Um, it's been apparent to me recently that most of the people on this channel are watching my sports videography videos. Like, the numbers do not, do, do not lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I made Dev a little nervous. I'm gonna take a picture of the camera. Wait, that looks so cool. Dev, get out of it. <laughs> oh man. I'm taking pictures of her now. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we just went into the vintage market. It was super dark and grungy, so I didn't feel like filming, but Dev and I both got rings. Wanna run through your rings real quick? Yeah, I got this snake. Oh. A green. So you can Dev. fidget. Sweater. Oh, there's a cat sweater down there. I said I was gonna talk about a lens. I don't feel like it. All right, guys, we're gonna get coffee in the South End. I want to get one of those fancy cups, like with the little, with the little drawing on the top. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You're smiling. In a second. Thank you. Deb, that looks yummy. Thank you. Then you stop playing with this lighting. It is so cinematic. Cream. Just a oh. I'm going over it. I spilled. I don't know if you realize, but I didn't order one of the coffees where you can get the little drawing on the top, the little leaf thing. And it was because I got nervous because every time I go to a fancy coffee shop I don't know what to say I'm like just vanilla no uh, you know what at pavement though I open up the top and they put a little thing on it all right are you impressed at all Apparently, I'm the sports videography guy. Well, the numbers on this channel have shown that people like the sports videography videos. I don't even like identify like that, but you know, the dopamine I get when I see thousands of views on videos is toxic and I love it. So here I am feeding that. So one of the concerns when picking out this lens was the autofocus. I was worried that it wouldn't perform well with my Sony camera because it is not a native Sony lens. It's a Tamron lens. 
But after a year and a half of using it, this autofocus system is lightning fast. I don't know what they're doing, but it's working so well. I was just worried about like basketball and soccer and stuff like fast moving objects, like could it track it? And yes, it can. I've seen in other YouTube videos that like when you compare it to other Sony lenses, you can't even tell the difference. Speaking of other Sony lenses, the main competitor that I saw when I was purchasing this lens was the Sony 70 to 200. It's about, it's about, it is 20 millimeters more of reach and it's so expensive, like stupid expensive. Yeah, I said it, it was about $1,000 more expensive than this lens. So that's pretty much why I got it. I just went on and I watched a ton of videos of people comparing it. And for my needs, this was gonna meet them. The only thing that I don't like about it, that I do like about the Sony lens is the build quality and the zoom. This has external zoom, meaning the barrel shoots out, which is a little annoying, but it doesn't bother me that much. Like I wouldn't spend another $1,000 for smoother zoom. It, uh, it's just not worth it to me. The image quality side by side from the Sony lens, it, you can't tell the difference. And that pretty much answered my questions about which one to get. This one just seems so obvious to me. I use step up rings. I don't have any with me for my ND filter and I just stack them. In all summer, I shot sports for a big sports company and this was the lens I used and I loved it. Hopefully I've been overlaying some shots that I've collected through my time with this lens, lots of photos. I can't even keep track anymore. I've just accomplished so much with this lens and I can't recommend it enough. Tamron should, if you're from Tamron, please, hello. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments or message me on Instagram. My Instagram DMs were so backed up, but I've been taking away at them trying to get, trying to answer messages from months ago. I just put a lot of pressure on answering my DMs. Like I want it to be a thoughtful message because I appreciate people messaging me and, there, and then I procrastinate and I don't even answer, which I guess is worse. I should work on that. I think step one is talking about it. Um, Thank you for being here. Uh, I post videos every week now. This is week number two, so let's go.